Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to a fresh new video on the channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at two amazing things from AE Juice. Number one, a free After Effects script called Copy Ease, and number two, some key new features of the animation bundle. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and here I have a very simple animation just to use as an example to show you guys how the script works. So to launch the script, you need to install the AE Juice Pack Manager which is absolutely free extension. I'll mention the link down in the description to download the extension. After you install it, go into Windows and there you'll find the AE Juice Tools hyphen copy ease. That is the script. So click on that to launch the script and as you can see it's small and compact script so let's see how this works now here i have an animation on three properties that is position scale and rotation and if i select this keyframes and jump into the graph editor you can see that we have a frequency for our animation now if, if your graph editor doesn't look like this then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph so we have an animation you know created with uh, tweaking our graph editor and let's say now I want to add a different animation so let's uh, let's say I'll go few frames forward in time create a keyframe on the scale and rotation properties go a few frames forward set the scaling to 0 and a rotation to maybe minus 90 if I select if I select all the keyframes go back into the graph editor you can see the frequency of this animation is different of course and if I try to match this frequency to this one, it's almost impossible for me because, you know, I need to tweak it and it, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to match this frequency perfectly. So what I can do is I can select this point or the keyframes or the frequency, hit copy, select this point and hit paste. And there we go. We have copied our complete frequency. Now this script is not going to copy the animation. It's going to copy the ease that is the frequency of our animation. And the best part is that you don't even need to open the script to use the script. By that what I mean is, let's say if I close this, close the panel, I'll select this, hit F9 to, you know, give it a simple animation. And now I want to copy paste the same frequency to this frequency, to this keyframes. So what I can do is I can select this, hit shift C to copy. As you can see, it says copied, select this and hit shift V. And there we have it. We have copy pasted the frequency without even launching up the script because we have already installed the script. So you can use the shortcuts to use the script. And that is the best part. You know, it's going to save you a lot of time because if I go into the browse section, you can see we have the shortcut set up for using every different properties. Now you can go into that and you know add a custom shortcut if you want to if you have set shift C if you have already set shift C to some different shortcut you can add a different shortcut maybe like um, you know control shift C or something like that and it's very simple. So let's delete this keyframes for now. So now we have our very basic animation. Now this is our in animation and let's say I want the same animation as our out animation. So what I can do is I can select this keyframes and click on clone. But when I click on clone, it's going to clone the same exact animation. And what I want is the reverse of this animation. So I'll hit control Z. So I'll select this keyframes. And then if I hit shift X, it's going to copy the same keyframe, but in the reverse order. So now we have our in animation and then we have our out animation. Very simple and easy to use. You can also browse from different presets that they have. So let's say I'll close this up for a moment and I'll go into, I'll select the keyframes, go into the graph editor. Let's select this and hit F9 to just give a simple easy ease. And now I want to use an animation from this preset. So what I can do is I can maybe I'll select this one, hit OK, and then just click on paste. So it's going to paste the preset that I selected. So let's see if I want to use a different preset. I can maybe select this one, hit OK, hit paste or simply hit shift C. You don't need to open the script as I told you guys. So it's very simple, very compact and very, very useful. So now let's take a look at some new key features 
of the 2D animation bundle. So right off the bat, you can see at the bottom, we have different properties for different animations. So let's say, let's apply one animation on our cube. So here I have a still cube and I'll select the layer and let's go and apply maybe this animation. And we have a very simple animation and we have the bounce animation because our animation was set to bounce. Let's say if I set this to ease, and then apply this again. Let's select it and hit import. We have a simple animation. Again, if I want a different animation, I'll select this one, click on import. We have a different animation. Again, if I want a bounce animation, I'll select the bounce preset, hit import. And now, and now we have a bounce animation. If, and if I want to delete the preset, I can go into delete, delete in and out animation. And now we are back to square one. But the best part is that if I go into browse, we have some very cool features to try it out. Firstly, we can turn on and off the motion blur. If you're creating a very heavy project, then you can turn off the motion blur so that your comp doesn't get very heavy. And while rendering it, turn it on again and render it. But the best part is right here. So in the keyframe mode, you can see we have four different modes of keyframe. Bounce, easy out, easy middle, easy in. So if I go into browse, you can see we have different presets for which we can choose from. So let's say if I select the easy in preset, I can go into browse. Then I can apply a different preset from the browser and hit OK. Or I can add a custom preset. I can create a custom preset of my own and use it for this animation. Then we have the animation preset bundle, which is the animate scene shortcut. So let's say if I cancel this up and all I need to do is hit control shift and tab, and it's going to randomly select an animation and apply it on my layer. So let's say if I'm not happy with this animation, I can hit control shift tab again, and it's going to randomly add a different animation. If I'm not happy, control shift tab and there we have a new animation. Now it's going to apply the animation according to the preset that we have selected here. So if I select the middle ease and then if I click control shift tab, now we have an animation based on that property. If I switch to bounce, hit control shift tab, we have an animation based on that bounce property. Also you have four different modes of bounce. Basically these are the intensity of the bounce. If I switch to four, and then hit control shift tab. The bounce is going to be very subtle. And if you want to control the complete animation, you can, you can jump into the fix and preset control and you can tweak all the different properties of that particular animation. The same process goes with the text animation presets as well. So you can use them both in the animation presets and in the text animation presets. So all in all, I think this is a very flexible and amazing upgrade that they have made. And I really think you guys should check it out. I'll mention the link down in the description. So make sure to check it out and I will see you guys in the next video till then. Take care. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.